What's up, geeks? Come on, don't be a view thief. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep the channel growing and keep these reviews coming. What's up geeks? McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Robin King from the Dark Knight's Death Metal line. So if you don't know, this is what happens if you have Bruce Wayne and he goes evil as a child. Yes, this is the Robin King, but it is not the Robin you know. It's actually Bruce Wayne when he was around uh, 10, 11 years old. He went psycho, killed his parents, got caught up, killed Alfred, hooked up to the Batman at last, and then you got this guy. All right, let's take a look at the box. Standard insert, got your collector's card and your McFar stand. DC! Robin King, Dark Knight's Metal. Out of the most sinister corner of the dark multiverse comes Robin King, a young version of Bruce Wayne who's chosen an unexpected horrific path to follow. Rather than becoming Batman, this troubled Bruce embraces inner darkness at a very young age, donning his own Robin costume and devoting his life to evil. His utility belt is filled to the brim with weapons designed to defeat every hero in the DC multiverse, making Robin King the most sadistic soldier in the Batman Who Laughs Evil Army. Robin King in his cage. Maybe we should leave him there. Good thing he has that cape on, because we don't do booty shots of minors. Be aware, the McFarlane leg issues rears its ugly head. I was taking about the package, and I was not touching his leg at all. I was squeezing the cape through the plastic, and his leg just randomly fell off. So I'm hoping that it was just loose and we don't have a problem, but we'll find out as we go along. And we've got the last piece of the And we got spare hands. One is a grasping claw, the other is a closed fist. The figure does come with two open claws, so these are not alternates. Behold, the king of Robins. He is quite striking, if I do say. Let us hold a minute and bask in his glory. Keith Lee. First things first, a heads up, he's loosey goosey, a little bit flimsy, but he looks good. Gosh, darn it. McFarlane, that's how you get us. Poor articulation, loose limbs, but dang, they look good. All right, so checking him out. He's got his little twig crown here. Oh, those are very soft and bendable. He has his chainmail hat on. Kind of reminds me of uh, Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. Now, the feather shoulder garb looks really good. It's, well, I almost said it's feathered, but <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of feathers, but it has green and purple paint in there. They are individually splayed out. It looks really good. Now the cape, just like the other ones in this wave, they look like soft goods from a distance. The texture is really good and really pronounced. I dig it. Then when you grab it, it's that soft, flexible rubber. Going down the costume, the red and yellow really stands out on the black. The paint job is just about perfect. I don't see any real flaws. All black going down the side. He's got his utility belt. That card said he had a dangerous weapon for every hero in the DC multiverse, but I don't think you can fit that, especially on that waist. What is he, like a 24 waist? What about that head? You get 360. Again, be careful of those rubber twigs. They're really soft. And his chainmail hood gets caught up there, but you get your full 360. Slight tilt to the left, even less of a tilt to the right. Looking down. Looking up-ish. Just to show you he was looking up, this is him now looking straight ahead. Very slight difference. 
Arms do go up shoulder height. They're handed a bit by the shoulder dressings. They push them back down a little bit. So I put them up, they come down, up, comes down a little bit. No moth joint hidden in there. Should be able to get a 360, even with this shoulder dressing on. Well, actually it could be wrong. Uh, it's kind of hard to get around. It's capable, but you really have to work with it. Uh, eh. All right, so yeah, you can get a 360 if you really work with it. Bicep swivel, that looks like it comes off at the bicep. Oh, looks like it didn't want to come off, okay. <laughs> Almost made a boo-boo there. I don't think that's supposed to come off. Uh, no swivel at the wrist. No forearm swivel. It is a single jointed elbow. It's as far in as it goes. You get yourself a cool 90 degrees there. The wrist has a vertical hinge joint, but you're not getting a repulsor blast. There's no range there. The top of the hand and the bottom of the wrist, they buck up against each other. You can't make them kiss the ring though. All right, so don't be fooled. Just like the Earth 22 Robin figure, there is an abdominal crunch there, even though the joint feels like it doesn't have the range of the Earth 22 Robin, but it does crunch a little bit, and he does crunch at the waist, but they happen at the same time, unless you hold your thumb right here in the middle. But if you hold right here, you can get a little bit of crunch right there, and then some more crunch with the waist. And that's the range you'll get there. Lean with it. And the leg came off. Rock with it. McFarlane, QC, quality check. Too many limbs fall off on your figures. Split range is poor. Every time I go to give him some range, this leg comes right off. Watch. Doop. So that's what it would probably look like if that leg, that's what the range would probably look like if that leg could stay on. But it's loose and it slips back down. Uh, there's the bend over range at the top of the thigh. Can he can can? Mm, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say yes he can can. It's not quite as high as I would like though. There's articulation at the waist but because of the one piece tunic he has on, he can... There is a waist swivel. Just uh, don't be a fool like me. I had my thumbs on the bottom of the tunic so it wouldn't turn, so I thought there was another waist swivel. But then I moved my thumb and he went around. And both legs came off. Ho ho! Single jointed knees. It's 1992 all over again. No thigh swivel. No calf swivel. You can't moonwalk with the best of them. Puts on a rocker so you get that mean swivel and you can get your 360. You also get your articulated toe. So here he is right next to Earth 22 Robin. You can see he's about the same height. Now the head sculpt I wanted to say was similar at first. I guess it's because of the white, but when you look at it, they're not similar at all. The Earth 22 Robin's face is very narrow and the King Robin, he has like kind of fat chubby cheeks like his face is a lot rounder i would have expected them to reuse more parts from this robin but it looks like they might have used the same arms but i think that's about it because even the chest doesn't look the same great scaling against death metal wonder woman next to soups and of course we've got rinse and repeat batman And a close-up of these mitts before I swap them out. All right, so there he is with his hand swapped out. He's got his little gripping claw and his fist. Let me know what you think, guys. My opinion on this guy, he looks great. As most McFarlane toys do, very impressive. But very disappointed with the articulation, of course. I don't like the fact that his left leg fell off about 13 times. His right leg fell off only twice, so that's good. I don't like the single jointed elbows. I don't like the single jointed knees. They give him very limited range. His feet and legs are loosey goosey. 
That's why I have him on the McFar stand because without it, he was just giving me too much trouble and I didn't feel like fighting with it. So typical, I can't say I'm surprised. The flexibility of the joints and stability, just not there, but the look is there. I mean, staring at him from across the room on that shelf, he's fantastic. The head sculpt is awesome. The details are great, the colors pop. I just wish that the figure was more of a figure, more reliable and had better QC before it left the factory. All right, so let me know what you think. Is mine just a bad one? Do I have really bad luck with McFarlane toys or is this an issue across the board? Let me know how yours is, is it loosey goosey? Were you even able to get your hands on one? I know that these have been delayed by most retailers and Amazon had them for a second and then sold out again. So sign up in the comments, let me know if you're able to get your hands on one and let me know what you think. All right, make sure to hit that like button on the way out. It really helps the channel. A lot of you guys have been doing that lately and I thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know every time I post a video, I'm working hard to get these videos out to you. The only thing I ask in return is the like, the sub, and the comments. All right, till next time, Robin King out.